हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एकेएसआईएस मेन सेक्शन ऑफ फ्री इनिशिएटिव दिस इज संतोष कोका टुडे वी विल डिस्कस वन क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग हिस्ट्री क्वेश्चन फॉर 8 अगस्त 2024 एग्जामिन द स्प्रेड ऑफ बुद्धिज्म आउटसाइड इंडिया हाउ डिड it adapt to local cultures in southeast asia that is the question here we need to start our three step strategy before writing our answer right first step is question reading here we need to focus on identifying different keywords and question tags and all, right so very very important step we need to identify what is the topic here buddhism is the topic how many parts are there two parts are there examine the spread of buddhism and also how did it adapt to local cultures right so next up, what are the important question tags here here examine is the very important question tag here examine means we need to consider already examiner knows something right we need to give detailed information or detailed facts etc right that is the meaning of examine already we have done one important video regarding 15 important question tags very very important please check it so next question tag is how how means uh, simply we can write the things right no need to worry regarding how question tag right we can in include normal information right next what are the important keywords here buddhism outside india they are specifically asking outside india then how did it adapt to local cultures in southeast asia also especially southeast asia very very important keywords next thing is brainstorming here we need to brainstorm or recall our important aspects regarding our topic within 1 minute right that is the second task here what are the important uh, information related to buddhism here we need to write some origin or background of particular buddhism right very very important we can write some important uh, uh, principles of buddhism uh, including including some flow charts etc and also we need to give different types of examples or names or etc we need to uh, recall all the information regarding not only india point of view we need to focus on especially outside india right here sri lanka or central asia or china korea japan etc we need to give some uh, timeline also we need to provide some 5th century 3rd 3rd century etc we need to give proper time timeline right so that is the part of uh, second part here second step next we need to present our answer right presenting answer will take only 6 minutes if we follow above two measures right very very important here for the presentation part we can draw some flow chart regarding including our buddhism principles or we can draw some flow chart or we can draw a map uh, uh, locating some buddhist buddhist location also right very very important right we can draw this type of presentation part next let's start our introduction part here to write a decent introduction we need to start with our especially in the point of uh, history history questions we need to start with introduction like uh, providing some information brief information about the topic right including time time uh, time particular time factor or some related facts or kingdoms or etc right king names etc right we need to use those facts here right coming to buddhism the spread of buddhism outside india began during the reign of emperor ashoka in the 3rd century bc all these information uh, we can include here right introduction especially next we can mention these key regions what are the important uh, buddhism reached uh, various parts of asia right including uh, sri lanka central asia china korea japan notably southeast asia especially right the spread of buddhism to southeast asia was marked by its uh, uh, ability to adapt to and integrate with local cultures traditions we need to interlink or interconnect or connectivity we need to write a connectivity line in between introduction and body part right that is important here next we can draw one flow chart or map right very very important here next coming to body part we need to address first important topic what is that examine the spread of buddhism outside india right coming to spread of buddhism outside india we need to first of all we need to write the of some part of uh, explanation of initial spread during ashoka shrine right buddhism spread outside india can be traced back to our ashoka shrine right when he sent missionaries to various re, uh, regions especially the spread was facilitated by uh, trade routes 
and also such as silk road especially silk road very very important here right and through maritime routes also very very important during ashoka's time and these key regions are what are the important major regions uh, the buddhism spreaded here sri lanka and central asia china korea japan and southeast asia right in each and every location or region we need to write some point and example buddhism was introduced by ashoka's son here leading to the establishment of theravada buddhism especially in sri lanka for example in central asia we can write buddhism spread through the efforts of missionaries and traders especially influencing regions like afghanistan and also uzbekistan right coming to china buddhism entered china via the silk route around first century especially right first century uh, ce eventually become a major region religion right next coming to korea and japan from china buddhism spread to korea in the fourth century and japan in the sixth century very very important these time frames need to be included in each and every point right that is very important for a uh, factual information of history right next southeast asia also we need to include some information buddhist adopted to local uh, cultures especially here right so next coming to the uh, important part or uh, keyword of our answer how did it adapt to local cultures in southeast asia adaptation to local cultures in southeast asia coming to thailand we have two parts here integration with animism and royal patronage also we can write div by dividing uh, these types like or otherwise we can write some uh, aspects related division also right so so uh, so many aspects writing different different types right we need to encourage them right here buddhism in thailand integrated with local animist practices also for example spirit houses uh, etc right uh, and also we have royal patronage also thai kings especially adopted buddhism and played a crucial role in its spread right that is the important uh, about thailand next myanmar myanmar or burma uh, uh, burma location also here uh, nat worship is very very important nat means here native native worship is very very important native means here some spirits right god like spirits are there right very very important here in myanmar especially buddhism co coexists with the worship of nats spirits right Uh, out of them 37 official nats are incorporated into buddhist practice very very important this uh, examples next monastic tradition also very important in myanmar burma burmese uh, monastic tradition emphasizes meditation and scholarship uh, especially adapting to theravada practice to local monastic customs also right coming to cambodia we have angkor wat right angkor wat and uh, syncretism these two are very very important angkor wat is hindu temple right initially a hindu temple was later converted to buddhist right temple symbolizing the shift and adaptation of religious practices very very important next syncretism coming to khmer buddhism incorporates elements of hinduism reflecting the regions historical hindu buddhist syncretism syncretism means two phases right a uh, hindu buddhist syncretism very very important next coming to our <coughs> vietnam also here we have adaptation to local cultures in southeast asia mahayana influence is there right while theravada buddhism is prevalent in most of southeast asia here vietnam predominantly follows mahayana buddhism heavily influenced by chinese buddhism especially right very important integration with confucianism and also taoism very very important here they are influenced by via vietnam buddhism has adapted by these integrating these two aspects creating a unique religious blend right next indonesia boro boro bodor temple also very very important the construction of this temple the world's largest buddhist temple reflects the adaptation of buddhism uh, buddhism to the local japanese or javanese uh, javanese culture and its coexistence with hinduism right java island is also there right so related to the javanese culture also coexistence with this hinduism during the sri vijayan sailendra periods also right 
very important. In this aspect, we need to focus only on the Southeast Asia, right? In the second part, we need to focus on the Southeast Asia. So many aspirants confused in the second part. Uh, please be uh, focus on that, right? Next, coming to in the conclusion part for history answers, we need to we don't uh, no need to worry regarding conclusion here. No need to write a futuristic or something notes here, right? So here for the history. Conclusion of the history question, just write next developments or present relevance, right? These two are important factors here. The spread of Buddhism outside India, particularly Southeast Asia, was marked by its remarkable ability to adapt, right? Very, very important. Today, still today, the influence of Buddhism is evident in the cultural, social and religious fabric of Southeast Asian countries. That is very important. We need to connect these type of some uh, uh, religious movements are some uh, particular uh, art uh, arts or uh, elements we need to connect to the present factor right that is the important factor to our uh, aspect to our history writing conclusions right very very important so this is the perfect structure to this uh, question let's check today's answer written by sindhu daneti on august 2024 the southeast asian buddhist conference in yangon highlighted buddhism enduring significance in the region and its role in fostering regional cooperation and cultural exchange this uh, recent current affairs introduction also included very very good for all questions we can write uh, these type of current affairs introduction at least we can try these type of some present relevance right buddhism founded by siddhartha gautam in 5th century bc etc information static information also included right spread of buddhism outside india especially she started with the early period, early spreads spread here sri lanka buddhism reached sri lanka 3rd century mahendra establishing this theravada buddhism next central asia and china by the 1st century ce missionaries and traders brought buddhism to central asia and china especially next southeast asia also included uh, in the related to the time period 5th century spread of myanmar thailand laos cambodia vietnam etc through maritime trade route etc especially royal patronage here myanmar king anavrahata in the 11th century promoted theravada buddhism replacing indigenous beliefs next coming to thailand sukhothai kingdom adopted theravada buddhism as the state religion in the 13th century especially adaptation to local cultures also integration with indigenous beliefs animism in myanmar already discussed uh, spirits or nats local deities in thailand worship of local spirits alongside buddhist rituals cultural expressions also here art and architecture of thai temples here very very important so morals and uh, uh, our statues are while myanmar's pagodas have gilded stupas festivals in laos the pai mai uh, festival combines buddhist rituals with traditional water splashing also very good inclusion of uh, these type of festivals also arts and architecture language and literature also scriptures in khmer buddhism texts were translated into khmer in cambodia making them accessible also right very good examples these type of aspect related information also included by some aspirants in that one such answer is this the successful spread and adaptation of buddhism highlighted its profound flexibility and cultural resonance allowing it to flourish and deeply influence various societies across southeast asia this adaptability underscores its enduring legacy and universal significance very very good a conclusion but little lengthy or we can conclude with two to three lines you know right next coming to some missed points we can draw some flow charts here flow chart including buddhism principles are you know, located locations also we can include uh, writing some maps right so other than that everything fine here included uh, each and every point included one example right etc very very good so for this answer we can give 5 and of out of 10 marks very good attempt so try like this write your answers every day then you will get enough marks right next main section of free initiative day 38 question for 9th august 2024 examine the socio economic and environmental implications of the expansion of mining activities in the western ghats how do they affect the region's biodiversity that is related to our geography question very uh, subject very very important write your answers and upload your answers in the aks app those information is given in the video description please check thank you very much all the very best